Living wages, what do Nigerians need? The question of living wages is arguably an interesting one in Africa, and more so in a country like Nigeria. But then, what do we mean by living wages? According to Investopedia, a living wage refers to a theoretical income level that allows individuals or families to afford adequate shelter, food, and other necessities. The goal of a living wage is to allow employees to earn enough income for a satisfactory standard of living and prevent them from falling into poverty. Economists suggest that a living wage should be substantial enough to ensure that no more than 30% of it gets spent on housing and this amount will often be substantially higher than the legal minimum wage. However, there are various arguments for and against the living wage narrative. Those that are in support of living wages argue that paying employees higher salaries offer benefits to the company. Our staff are more satisfied and this reduces staff turnover. Other benefits would include high morale of the staff, which in turn results in more productive staff, as well as increased output from the staff of the company. When turnovers are reduced, the company does not have to engage in expensive recruitments and frequent training or retraining of new staff. The workflow is also seamless and company culture can be preserved. But those who are not in favor of living wages say that the implementation of a living wage creates a wage flow which harms the economy eventually. Also, fewer employees are hired if the company has to pay higher wages and the end result is higher unemployment because you have deadweight loss and people who would willingly have worked for less than a, willing, than a living wage will not be given an opportunity to get the job. Now, away from the arguments for and against, what does the law have to say about living wages? In Nigeria, what we have prescribed is a requirement to pay minimum wages, which is not even fully implemented by organizations. There are, however, different international instruments on the issue of living wages, some of which are, one, the, Uni Universal, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which was proclaimed by the United Nations General Assembly on 10 December 1948, and in Article 25, it states, Everyone has a right to a standard of living adequate for the health and well-being of himself and of his family, including food, clothing, housing, and medical care, and necessary social services, and the right to security in the event of employment, sickness, disability, widowhood, old age, or other lack of livelihood in circumstances beyond his control. Other instruments that talk about living wages include the Ethical Trading Initiative Base Code, which is widely acknowledged as a model code of labor practice and is derived from the conventions of the International Labor Organization, ILO. We also have the International Labor Organization, ILO, C131, Minimum Wage Fixing Convention, 1970, number 131, as well as the International Convention on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights. So why is the issue of living wage rising on the global agenda? One, there is a rising phenomenon of the working poor, that is working people who are unable to make ends meet because wages are too low. Two, there is the issue of the increasing gap between national minimum wages and cost of living, which is not going anywhere anytime soon. Then three, we have the continued development of international standards for business and ethics, which is changing the dynamics of human dignity. At the end of the day, however, it's really maybe not just about the money, but about the choices that money allows you to have. My questions then are, do Nigerians need a living wage or a minimum wage? If we do need a living wage, is this a possible reality? I think I'll dive in first. 
We first need to live. Mm. Because the first word of the phrase is living mm. than wage. So in terms of what we need in Nigeria, the government should just help us, assist us, make sure that we are alive. If they can guarantee that, then we cannot talk of the wage. See, the minimum wage that, we, that is prescribed by the Minimum Wage Act today is not even enough to make you live. The 30,000 naira cannot buy a bag of rice. And if bag of rice is the only thing you're going to buy, you need other things to add to it to, to make it, co <laughs> it consumable. Now, mm. now, now, the standard, the life itself, the quality of life is reducing by the day. Mm. So the place to start from is even make us expect to wake up tomorrow. Mm. Then food is the next thing, and I love food so much. <laughs> it's not showing. It's not showing. <laughs> ah, well. <laughs> food security all over the country. When we are able to tackle that security of life and property, then food security, so that whatever you earn, you're sure you have something to fill your belly. You know, I think the issue of minimum wage and living wage, yes. in my um, humble estimation, when you look at minimum wage, it tells you the least amount yes, so someone of a particular pay grade, you yes. know, can, so rather educational qualification or whatever the metrics are for determining your entry level yes. of, you know, the level you can rise to in your career, the very least amount you can earn based on the certification you have. But I, I would say a living wage has more to do with what, what, um, offer you bring to the table it's not really limited to uh, your your educational qualification but rather it looks at your standard of living the, the yes. bare the barest essentials yes. that you need to yeah. have yeah. you know so in a sense you see nigeria we're still grappling with so much yes. even the minimum wage has not been ratified by all the states there are several reasons why different um, state governments are arguing that they can't pay the wage, even those that have agreed to pay the wage that, that seem able to pay the wage are not even, you know, doing it and the, the wages are not coming as at when due. So it's um, all of this falls back to entrepreneurship development, in my honest opinion. Individuals should be able to rise up and look within, discover what traits, talents, and abilities they have, and then plan strategically how to translate those from ability to monetized services. That would, I mean, just loosen you up financially and make you not dependent, so to speak, on a system for daily bread, whether it's a place of employment or, you know, government policy. But even as an entrepreneur, government policy does have an impact on your ability or the skill at which you earn and all of that. So really, it's... Um, I would say it's an egg and chicken situation. analogy situation, okay. if you will. Okay, if I'm going to add to this, I think that the minimum, idea of minimum wage was not supposed to limit the potential or the capacity of the citizens. Mm. It was basically to ensure that at least there's a standardization of some yes. sort. Mm. Now, but there are many things to consider here. First of all, inflation. Mm -hmm. um, and if you look at the last um, two, three years, inflation is now double digits. So what, if you were buying a bag of rice for 9,000 naira, you're almost buying times two now. Mm. So you're, you're, there are other things we're dealing with, but the, the, the minimum wage or the living wage is not rising just as high as the exactly. inflation in the right. exactly. So that, there is an erosion of value, right? But That's one it. thing is that we know government can't by themselves create jobs. We've mm. always advocated mm -hmm. an enabling environment to allow for the jobs. Right. So yeah. an entrepreneur today can't even get access to capital. Uh, is, is the CBN giving loans? You bet you need collateral. Is the bank of industry giving loans? You bet you need collateral. Mm. And how many Nigerian businesses mm. truly, genuinely afford, can afford to collateral? Except for the big guys who have been in oil all our lives. And, and again, so we can't necessarily begin to talk about living wage when the circumstances or the environment that can allow for the living wage is not even, so be, yeah, it's not even there. Mm. You know? And then with, well, one of my greatest challenge is looking at how much the governors end for security votes, how much the National Assembly and no, the House of Representatives... We did there, right? It's, no, such a bloated, no, it's just a bloated figure. Those guys are, are robbing us in daylight. You but at the end of the day, they will struggle to approve a 30000 naira minimum wage. That's now they are the going problem. home with an entire local government budget every month. Right? Security it's really, really those what are, So my, my own particular advocacy wow. is that we, when are we going to wake up and attack this bloated government and let them end like civil servants? 
Interesting, Ferdinand, that those are your views. And now Ferdinand is telling us to prepare for a post-oil economy after this break. Thank you.